geometric designs, colourful arabesques and ancient forms of Arabic calligraphy. This Quran from 14th century Andalusia is a prime example of the art of illustrating texts in the Islamic tradition, a tradition which France's National Library is now putting on show with a new exhibition on Islamic illuminations, taking in Qurans, literary works, treatises and chronicles from their collection of Middle Eastern manuscripts. The aim of this exhibition is to show the relationship the Muslim world has with the image and to explore the paradox in an art which forbids any representation of living creatures. While at the same time we know there are numerous Persian miniatures swarming with people who are living beings. The Quran itself doesn't explicitly forbid figurative art. Early works like the Shah Nameh, a Persian epic poem, are full of elaborate miniatures. This tradition developed across the Islamic world from Indonesia to Turkey. It was also accompanied by theological debates, questioning whether such art could be seen as a form of idolatry. The principle isn't so much about representation itself, as long as this representation doesn't try to compete with God. Associationism, the fact of associating one God with another, is the ultimate sin, so Islam forbids creating any rivals to God. Miniature painting reached its apogee between the 15th and 17th centuries and eventually involved even the most venerated figures. Here the Prophet Muhammad is shown riding his mythological steed Burak, accompanied by the Archangel Gabriel. The story was well known, but representing it visually was a contentious religious issue. It's frowned upon, let's say. It's not exactly forbidden. It's prohibited in the sense that the Quran doesn't speak of it and nor does tradition. It's not a formal ban, but it's not recommended to paint the Prophet. A recommendation which has largely been followed right down to the present day. Modern artists working in the Islamic tradition now tend to represent Muhammad symbolically with a pair of sandals or a beam of light.